The U.S. has accused Moscow of violating laws that date back to the 1980s. Washington says that Russia has breached a nuclear arms treaty signed with the Soviet Union back in 1987 by testing a ground-launched cruise missile. Let's talk more on the timing of the allegations with Willy Wimmer, the former State Secretary of the German Ministry of Defense. Um, Good evening to you, Mr. Wimmer. Now, the U.S. says that it suspected that Russia was developing these uh, missiles since way back in 2008. Why do you think they waited six years to mention it? Because uh, they tried to blame uh, Russia every morning, every evening, every night. It is a salvo of accusations. And uh, they tried to get the public in the West accustomed to blaming Russia. When it comes to these uh, allegations concerning the IMF treaty, I think it should be mentioned that in 2009, there was a test firing of such a missile. But the United States agreed upon this. And therefore, we have to raise the question to the US president, why is he blaming Russia now with these things going back to 2009? OK, now, the, the claims of a missile test, they really are just the, the latest. There's been a string of allegations recently aimed at Moscow. Um, some people are saying this is no coincidence, the timing. What's your opinion on that? Yes, uh, uh, there is an ongoing uh, flood of uh, accusations against uh, Russia. And um, this shows to uh, all Europeans that uh, the international relations are really poisoned in these days. And this goes back to a U.S. policy which started in the 90s, not to negotiate, not to sit on a diplomatic table together with the Russian Federation, but to expand its uh, own territory towards the east and promoting NATO and doing what it can to repel the Russian Federation. I'd just like to get your thoughts on um, a court decision made this week in The Hague, uh, the ruling that Russia should pay $50 billion to former shareholders of um, the oil giant UCOS. This is an organisation that went bust almost a decade ago. Um, some people say that this was a ruling that could have been politicised. What do you think? Yeah, the whole thing is uh, politicised. Um, I was, um, by coincidence, in Moscow when um, in the... Khodorkovsky case happened. And in this time, uh, I met with uh, German officials in the German embassy in, in Moscow. And um, it was interesting what they told me, um, that uh, Khodorkovsky and his friends tried to sell the Russian gas and uh, oil resources to Wall Street. And um, I think we all have a special understanding for that. If you do this uh, under today's circumstances, why should Russia have its resources being distributed by Wall Street? And therefore, I think this is from the beginning one of the most dramatic issues uh, we see in these days. And uh, in my opinion, what is going now in the Ukraine is the same effort of special circles in London and in New York to get in control of the Russian resources. Madeleine Albright made it absolutely open uh, when she talked about the Russian resources, not only when it comes to oil and gas. She wants to have it under control of other countries also beside of the Russian Federation. And therefore, it is politicized from the very beginning. It was an attack on Russia. Thanks so much for joining us, giving us your thoughts. Philly Wimmer, the uh, former State Secretary of the German Ministry of Defence. Thank you.